Have you ever witnessed a luxury flying hotel above the clouds? You may have been on a cruise before, but what I'm gonna show you today is something that you've probably only ever fantasized about. What kind of flying hotel are we talking about here? Well, if you're wondering, it's called the Sky Cruise, a futuristic luxury flying hotel resort that runs on nuclear power. Wanna take a look inside this exciting concept? Be sure to stay till the end of the video, and let's dive in. Did you know Hashim al Ghaili recently brought Tony Homestead's idea of a giant flying hotel resort that he had envisioned roughly 11 years ago to life with his animation of the Sky Cruise? The aircraft interestingly resembles a cross between a spaceship and an ocean liner, equipped with every amenity a passenger could require during their journey. And would you believe it, it can host over 5,000 visitors at once. You heard that correctly. Given that this enormous sky cruise would never have to touch down and would continue to cruise through the air for years, the question is how a passenger could board this flying hotel. According to Hashim, the aircraft can accomplish all passengers boarding through airplanes, which depart from various airports worldwide and deliver passengers to this flying hotel. The idea that guests would arrive in either a commercial or a private plane adds a whole new dimension of intrigue to the adventure. Where would you ever have the opportunity to witness a jet landing on top of a Sky Cruise? The Sky Cruise is conceptual, initially developed by Tony Homestead and reimagined by Hashim Al Ghaili, launched to enable people to, quote, take a moment to think about a future where such a concept could exist. Hashim Al Ghaili reimagined it. In light of the information mentioned earlier, Al Ghaili expresses his confidence that the Sky Cruise could someday travel across our skies. In a post which he refers to the recent developments in the investigation of commercial nuclear fusion, one future of Sky Cruise has the potential to be more spectacular than any of the others, in spite of the fact that all these other components currently appear to be very fantastic. This aspect is the glass bottom observation deck. Equipped with 20 electric engines, each powered by a nuclear reactor of a smaller scale, the airplane can fly a considerable amount of time without ever having to touch down on the ground. The hotel receives its supplies and visitors via electronic commercial aircraft. In addition, the hotel has its maintenance crew on board to handle any issues that may arise. The maintenance crew will do any other necessary repairs during the flight. Although all this sounds attractive, if the thought of flying gives you the heebie-jeebies, eh, don't worry, since the plane will be outfitted with cutting-edge anti-turbulence equipment. If only they could find a way to implement something like that on a standard commercial aircraft. Then I wouldn't be clutching a bag every time I fly. In addition, there is a state-of-the-art medical center functioning at its total capacity on board. The views are, without a shadow of a doubt, the most alluring feature of the Sky Cruise in terms of what you would get to experience after you checked in there. An elevated deck would provide a vantage point with a 360-degree view, allowing one to observe everything from the stars to the northern lights. From that point, you could take an elevator down to the main entertainment deck, designed to seem like the atrium of a cruise ship had been supersized. In addition, you would have access to a wide variety of amenities, including shopping malls, athletic centers, swimming pools, restaurants, bars, playgrounds, theaters, movies, and medical facilities. Finally, for those needing a one-of-a-kind location for their wedding, the Sky Cruise provides the most spectacular wedding hall, with surroundings and sceneries one has never seen before. It says that those with weak stomachs should avoid it. There are several reasons to be concerned about Sky Cruise, despite its name and depiction making it sound particularly spectacular. First, people are skeptical that a nuclear vehicle of such a stature will be able to destroy a whole city if it ever crashes, even though many people have referred to it as the new Titanic. In addition, a massive amount of capital will be invested, which will be a tremendous expense. Finally, people are concerned not only about the astronomically high cost of tickets, but also about the perception that the event is exclusive to the wealthy class. At the moment, the concept of Sky Cruise seems to have been taken straight from the plot of some science fiction films, but who knows? Maybe sometime in the near future, we'll all be floating through the skies together, taking in the view while swimming laps thousands of miles above the land. Who knows what the future holds? What are your thoughts on the flying hotel concept? Are you a fan or not a fan of the Sky Cruise? Let us know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to smash that like button to show some love. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon to never miss any updates from us. Until the following video, take care and stay tuned. I found you.